Hey all, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be working with this heart. It's a heart pendant. Um, we will create it together. Let's open a new part. And in the front plane we are going to create a sketch. First we need the construction line. Vertical line which have 55 length. And then I need a circle here which will be at the value of 10. After I'm placing here an arc, the radius of arc is 15. We are going to make a tangent. We press Ctrl, we select two object and say tangent. And then we place here a value of 15. Start to become black. We remove this area, so it is the only this point which is not having a, a, a definition. Now we pick a spline from this point to this point. We make a spline, and saying here, you be tangent. Saying here, you be tangent here. So then we are going to give here a. It's not tangent here, by the way, guys. Sorry. So it will give it an angle. So it will be 15. And then the tangency value is uh, 50. Here we have another value, which will be also an angle. And this is angle will be at 10. And then I have here a tangency value of 70. It's pretty much. Done. It is fully defined. We will keep our base sketch here because it contains play, spline and normal line. It's always keep it. It's always good to keep it there because if you want to make a revision, if you want to change, it is good to deal with a uh, less complicated one than this one because then we will have here, for example, in the second uh, uh, sketch, a lot of uh, mirrors and other relations that can mess up your whole. Thing. And I made a copy here, a mirror, and then I remove this. Here we will make an offset inwards 8. And after this operation, we make it again. Uh, extrude, sorry. This is good. And from right plane, we make a normal tool. Here we draw object something like this, the sketch, and here we have a gap of two, and here we have a gap of seven. Yes, and then we will cut it. Draw both. That's good. And then here we look normal to create a sketch and make an offset reverse four. And then we go create a split line on the surface. Uh, now we can in fact send the half. I don't know why I created it in the beginning, but I realize now we are going to work with half. It is better, better control, less complicated and less complicated object. And then I will go surface, select white plane, Cut the surface. Anyway, never mind. At least you have seen a different comment here with a plane and with a different comment. I just cut the half. Now we are going to select loft surface, profiles, selection manager, this profile, this profile, and this profile, this edge constitutes a profile. And then I go to selection manager and then again select a group of object which will constitute a profile but what I made it was wrong it will be here yes we simply connect these two edges and we select the surface loft and we come here surfaces cut with surface outwards object will be cut you can hide surface body 
and then here we loft again right click selection manager because we select a group of objects if you are working with a sketch it will not be necessary to make the selection but I like to keep things how it is and how less object in your drawing how much control you have at the end on it because if this area getting crowded which I really don't like you will have a lot of problems in case you need to change something I'm talking for a few professional in real work this things are quite what happens so we created our object and we are going to make a mirror which is the very nice part of this program mirror and here we have a merge solid active after this we select this two point and we place there a radius of two good and then another radius here which will be one and then we select one plane and we make mirror I start my object at the center of the whole planes and when I want to make a mirror although I have here a flat surface I could use flat surface all uh, uh, planes is passing through uh, my center it's very convenient to have solid bodies again here because after uh, the mirror it is automatically combined and I will add here every radius again at the value of 1 yeah it's done and I will look from front no sorry on uh, right create here a circle this will be our hanger and let's combine it let's align it with our origin with the help of line with this line we can stop rotation so it is a straight line there will not be any rotation also we can just place our value which will say our uh, distance uh, let's make it 52 and the values here it's just 2 and here the value is 5 and I'm going to make it again extrude mid plane 2 merge result active you will see that in some videos I'm not merging because then it is easy to place your uh, radiuses and then combine it but in this case it wasn't an issue keep in mind there is no never a way there is many ways to deal and to create a model here it's up to you to choose the best and which you are feeling comfortable with by the time you will develop that skill it comes with an experience uh, learning with your mistakes I have my own way to draw things you will have as well a model is done in fact we can here assign some color and it is looking pretty much nice thanks for watching if you like it please hit the like button and make a comment and see you in another video